Victor Wimbanyama is set to rewrite NBA history. He himself has hinted he wants to be the greatest of all time. I I'm trying to win a ring ASAP. The question is, can he do it? Because taking down LeBron James and Michael Jordan on the way to becoming the NBA's GOAT is no easy feat. But at seven foot four with a three point shot and guard skills, Victor Wimbanyama not only has the abilities to become the greatest of all time, he also has three other incredibly important factors that make him easily the greatest young prospect we have ever seen. Someone who is a very worthy challenger to the GOAT throne as these three things when combined are terrifying for any non-Spurs fan. What's up, Mike here, resident Bulls fan. And those three things are Victor Wembanyama's rookie production on the stat sheet, his absurdly locked in mindset that has been proven by tremendous growth year after year. And last, but most important of all, his transcendent basketball IQ. Yes, I said transcendent, and that is because if we consider the world of very tall big men who can shoot and dribble a bit. Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? I'm looking at you, Bull Bull. Second Where foul on Bull. Oh we find that sometimes this combination is actually a complete mess. Wemby though makes basketball look easy as his timing on the defensive end has been previously unseen by rookies throughout NBA history while on offense, he is able to use his length and dribble moves effectively, scoring with a feel for the game that just cannot be taught. And he's already shown a great ability to read the defense and make the right pass when it is there, averaging 3.9 assists per game as a rookie center. For context, Nikola Jokic, the great Greatest passing big man of all time. Averaged 2.4 assists per game as a rookie, and I know what you're thinking. Jokic did average less minutes per game, but in their rookie seasons, Victor Wembanyama also averaged more assists per game per 36 minutes than Jokic did. The potential everywhere is there, truly, but where we can see the most potential is on the defensive end. It is on defense where Wemby has proven to be far ahead of any prospect before him at this age. In year one, Victor averaged 21.4 points, 10.6 rebounds, and 3.6 blocks per game as already. We find that those three core numbers are historic stats. Only four NBA players in history have averaged at least 21 points, 10 rebounds, and three blocks per game as a rookie. Those four names are Victor Wembanyama, and then three Hall of Famers in David Robinson, Alonzo Mourning, and Shaq. What's even more impressive is that Wemby doesn't just belong among these names. His rookie numbers actually stand out. He and David Robinson are the only two players on this list to average over a steal a game. Wemby leads these four in a assists per game by a noticeable margin with 3.9. Robinson was the second closest with two, but Robinson was also 24 years old. As we have to remember, he did a stint with the actual Navy before becoming an NBA rookie. Thank you, David Robinson, for your service. On top of this, none of the other three centers on this list made a single three in their rookie year, while Wemby made 128 last year on 32.5% shooting. And as if all of this was not good enough, Victor also finished second in the Defensive Player of the Year voting, after finishing first in the NBA in blocks per game, first in block percentage, which his percentage of 10.01 was the fourth highest in NBA history. And Wemby also was fifth in defensive win shares, second in defensive rating, and second in defensive box score plus minus. But guys, before we continue, I'm very excited to say that this video is sponsored by SeatGeek, where the NFL season is in full swing and I want to be watching the games live and in person. And that is why our friends at SeatGeek have you covered. Everyone, not just new users, every Everyone can use my code, Mike10, for 10% off of any ticket on SeatGeek. Sports, festivals, concerts, you name it, SeatGeek has you covered as SeatGeek also rates tickets on a scale of one to 10. Green being good, red being bad, so look for those green dots. And no matter how many times you have bought tickets before, again, using code Mike10 is going to get you 10% off of your order. So what are you waiting for? Open your SeatGeek app, use my code Mike10, and get 10% off of your order right now because this offer is only available for a limited time. That is code Mike10 for 10% off at SeatGeek. Thank you again to SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get back into today's video. In terms of overall versatile talent, seven foot four Victor Wembanyama has the most potential we have ever seen. Now it is partially because of this that I believe Victor Wembanyama is going to rewrite history and break the blocks record. As I also think Wemby's incredible mindset as a young age shows us that he is really going to put the work in to get the most out of his life. And that includes becoming the best basketball
basketball player ever. Listen to what Wemby said on JJ Reddick's podcast. I'm, I know what I want. Like I'm, I'm driven. Nothing can put me out of my path. You know, when I need motivation, when I need energy, and I feel tired out, when I need to fight on the court, and it's it's hard. I always remember. I know what I want to do, and nothing's gonna stop me from doing it. And I always got that in mind. And it doesn't just stop to basketball. You know, it's, it's about life. Recently, Wemby also said that he was disappointed in certain NBA stars around him. All those that I used to like, and now it's, I'm just like, nah. You know, some of the guys I've been watching growing up, I'm not disappointed, but I'm like, ah, like, that's it. They, they don't seem like they put as much work as I thought. As he absolutely despised their work ethic and questioned if they even deserve to be there. That is a Kobe type mentality. I I'm trying to win your ring ASAP. Getting angry at other people not working hard. That's the type of mentality that makes a young prospect like Wemby get better each and every season. Now, Wemby's rookie season was not the best ever. It was actually far from it. In NBA history, there have been 18 rookie all-stars. And as we know, Wemby was not one of those players. There have even been six rookie all-NBA selections. Wemby was not one of them. Wemby though did finish second in defensive player of the year voting and also he was the first rookie in NBA history to be named first team all defense. Even if you didn't believe Wemby is on track to become the actual GOAT, you could still easily believe he is on track to become the greatest defensive player of all time. The 3.6 blocks per game Wemby averaged in his rookie season actually put him on a historic track as while we of course cannot account for lifetime injuries, we do know that Wemby is already a huge fan of taking care of his body and that he has a stretch routine that looks alien-esque. At seven foot two, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar played 20 years in the NBA before modern medicine and recovery science. LeBron, with both of those things, is about to enter season 22. If Victor wants to play 20 plus years in the league and is performing at a high level, that means with the mindset we have seen, it would not be a surprise at all for Victor to reach around 20 seasons played. His height alone is going to make him a valuable player at real any age. So then the question becomes, if Wemby or any player were to play 20 years in the NBA, what exactly would it take for him to break the all-time blocks record? Now, as I was doing this, the question did linger. Could Wemby break LeBron's points record? Could Wemby break Wilt's rebound record? Well, with that in mind, I took a look at in a 20-year career, what would it take for any player to break every major NBA record? Points, rebounds, blocks, steals, and assists. LeBron is the all-time current leader in points with 40,400 174 total points scored, which means if someone or Wemby were to average 24.68 points per game while playing all 82 games a year for 20 seasons, they would pass LeBron. But as we know, LeBron is playing at least one more season, probably at least two, because I'm imagining he wants a retirement tour, which in turn means he would announce his retirement before the season began. And we also know LeBron is still a monster. So if LeBron scores the exact same amount of points in the next two years as he did in the previous two years, 3,412. That would already give us a new mark for Wemby to aim for as already that would up the points per game to 26.76. However, that number comes if a player is playing all 82 games, something that happened in the 50s and 60s, but in today's NBA, unless Tom Thibodeau is your coach, it is never going to happen. In his first season, Victor did play in 71 games, which I think was actually low for him. I think he'll end up playing in more in a few seasons in his career because the Spurs in his first season were not contenders at all. When they are contending for a playoff spot, when they are contending for a top spot in the West, you are going to have to drag Victor Wembanyama off of that court. But obviously, 82 games played a year is not a realistic number. Looking at Kareem Abdul-Jabbar though, at seven foot two, Kareem shockingly averaged 78 games played a year, something that I think is extremely underrated. LeBron, meanwhile, in his 21 years has averaged 71 games played a year. So let's say Wemby averages a clean 70 games played a season. Let's say his stretching routine pays off big time. At 70 games played, Wemby would now need to average 28.91 points per game for a year for 20 seasons if LeBron never played again. If LeBron hits our projections from before, Wemby or any player would need to average 31.35 points per game for 20 seasons with 70 games played a year. Victor did average more points per game than LeBron did as a rookie, and the Spurs entire 
entire offense is going to revolve around him, so I guess this is possible, but I will say extremely unlikely, even for a seven foot four, never before seen phenom. Victor's best chance of rewriting history and breaking an overall record, something I boldly predict he will do easily, comes in the form of Hakeem Olajuwon's block record. Because looking at steals, around two steals per game over 20 years will get you the record as a guard, which seems doable, but not for a center. Assists in general seems like a nearly unbreakable record, as unbelievably 9.99 assists per game over 20 years playing all 82 games per season would be the mark you had to hit to break John Stockton's assist record. Some said Utah ran up John Stockton's assist numbers to get him that record. That is unproven. What is proven is that the rebounds record is also currently untouchable in the modern NBA. LeBron is the NBA's active leader in rebounds with 11,185. A little laughter in my voice as that is less than half of Wilt Chamberlain's record total number of 23,924. As for blocks though, Hakeem Olajuwon holds the current record of 3,830 total blocks, which would mean a player would need to average 2.36 blocks per game for 20 seasons if they played in all 82 games or 2.74 if they play in only 70. Wemby averaged 3.58 blocks per game in his rookie season. He is already easily blowing away the number that he needs, which is why I think this is a very achievable feat. We know that at the end of the day in the overall GOAT race, a player is going to need five MVPs or more. A player is going to need around four to six titles or more. That is the standard that Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar have created. With that in mind, Wemby might be able to give himself the ultimate edge by also winning the most defensive player of the year awards by also becoming the greatest defensive player we have ever seen. As of right now, three men hold the record for most defensive player of the years, as Ben Wallace, Dikembe Mutombo, and Rudy Gobert all won the award four times. Last season, Victor Wembanyama was quoted as saying, let him, Rudy Gobert, win it now because after that, it's no longer his turn. Victor believes that he is going to start winning Defensive Player of the Year after Defensive Player of the Year. Victor believes he is going to be the greatest of all time. Question is, what do you think? Comment down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you never miss a video. If you did, I think you also will enjoy this video on Reed Shepard, the future superstar point guard from the Houston Rockets on the top left, or this video in the top right that YouTube has specifically recommended for you.